Dr. Partha Nandy joins us now with more on the coronavirus outbreak. So, Doc, what can you tell us about the case in Chicago and what about other possible infections? So, Dave, Illinois health officials confirmed that there is a second case of this coronavirus here in the U.S. The patient is a woman in her 60s. She, she visited Wuhan, China back in December and returned home in Chicago on January 13th. She's reported to be in stable condition as, and is being closely monitored. The good news is that she reportedly did not use public transportation and did not have symptoms when flying. As for other cases, the CDC is monitoring 63 other possible infections across 22 states, but it's, they're still saying that the immediate risk to the general public is low. So, Doc, is there a vaccine? Heather, no, there is not a vaccine for the 2019 it's NCOV virus, and there is no specific treatment either. You know, patients like the one in Chicago, uh, she'll receive supportive care, but I mentioned to you that Purdue University scientists had analyzed the genome of the virus and they've also been working on develop va developing vaccines to fight the coronavirus, which they hope to test their potential drug molecules on the Huan coronavirus very soon. In the meantime, I want to say this again because I want you to rem remember this. You know, wash your hands often, especially when you're out in public. It's a simple step that you can do and really helps to stop the spread of germs. And doctor, we're hearing about this outbreak being linked to snakes. How so? So yeah, Dave, uh, Chinese scientists have analyzed the genetic sequence of the virus and it, and it really appears that snakes like the Chinese crate and the Chinese cobra may be the source of the deadly coronavirus. They concluded this after identifying that, that the 2019 NCOV was a mix or recombination of two coronaviruses. One was known to infect bats, but the other had origin that was unknown. After considering other animal hosts, scientists concluded that it may have come from snakes. Now, it's rare that coronaviruses jump from animals to people, but it is possible. In fact, Purdue University scientists say that the virus actually is genetically similar to the SARS variant, which you may remember back in 2002 killed over 750 people after it evolved to infect humans. Concerning stuff indeed. Dr. Nandy, thank you for the information.